What's up y'all, it's Peaches. I'm back with another video. We back again with French tip, a good old nasty Louis Vuitton French tip, child. Hand drawn, all of it hand drawn, okay? So this video, we're gonna go ahead and use our Mega Jam and Orbit by Young Nails Mission Control. I do like using these, okay? Um, I actually made that purple color. I mix it with some white and got a really, really pretty purple color because I feel like this particular color it's like it's never purple enough or blue enough for the looks that I want, you know? Like, it just, I don't know how to explain it. Like, the color just don't read how I need to read, so I always have to mix it, you know? So, like I was saying, I do like these colors. I do like the Mission Control. Um, it is a very thicker consistency, so I'm using it because I know whatever I draw, it's going to stay in place. It's not going to run. It's not going to do any of that. It's very pigmented, and I know for a fact I'm not going to have to go over my nail art more than the um initial layer you know because there are some gels and polishes and paints that are not as pigmented or that you know you have to do a whole bunch of coats and i just i, I don't want no thick bulky nail okay so you guys have seen me do hand painted french tips i just literally posted a video the other day about it so i'll go ahead and link that here and we're gonna just start from the nail art right here okay now a lot of times you do have to mix colors if you want something else if you are using mission control and i should have cleaned my brush in between dipping into the jars but honestly i was like you know whatever i really wasn't tripping because it, it's not going to really affect the pink what was in the pink that little bit of purple whatever it, it's not going to affect anything okay so when doing nail art i like to start on a top coated surface and i've only done hand drawn Louis Vuitton one other time okay now the key to it is have a reference photo I'm looking at these Louis Vuitton foils right next to me and I'm just going off of that okay so generally when you're doing designs like these you want to just keep it simple okay I did not want to crowd the French tip with a whole bunch of designs I knew I wanted to keep it like okay let's do two to three designs max for this French tip especially for this length okay so you can see I'm going ahead and, you know, don't, don't be scared to load some polish. I mean, to, to load, uh, you know, paint, polish, whatever onto your brush. Cause we do want it to stand out because there's, it's so small. You need it to be a little bit bold, you know? So I went ahead and started by doing the L and the V another like tip. If you're nervous to do this, pick areas of the nail where you know it's the design is going to be cut off. You know what I mean? Um, I'm trying to see what design is this because I really cannot see from here. I probably should make the screen a little bit bigger. Oh, I think this is honestly, I really don't know the names of each individual design. You guys are going to have to just see and, and you'll see it come together. Okay, so for hand drawn designs like this, what helps me is I kind of look at what the design is and I break it down into shapes. So I think in my head, okay, how can we get this type of shape, right? We know the middle is circle and we know the middle is not colored. And then we know there's these little, you know, they're not triangles, but they're not ovals, okay? So it's kind of like, what is the best way to get that? And that's kind of just what I go ahead and do because it can be daunting. And you know, I understand being nervous, but at the end of the day, we don't want to get so nervous that we're constantly turning people away. You know, just use it as practice. Let your client know, hey, either I have or have not done this before. And, um, you know, if you don't like it, we can just wipe it off. Um, so from the first nail, at first I was a little bit nervous because it had been a while since I did this pattern. But, um, hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting a phone call. Okay. It had been a while since I did this pattern. But, you know, you just kind of jump into it and just do the best that you can do you know there's nothing more that you can do besides that okay so like I was saying choose areas of the nail where you know the design is going to be cut off no matter what but you also want to include on some nails a fully shown design so on this one I, I started out you can see I'm like okay let me get my bearings and on the second one I ended up kind of trying to show out a little bit more like each nail you end up getting more and more comfortable and more and more bold and you go ahead you know you show out a little bit more here and there um, each nail does not have to be perfect I'm so mad that this got cut out you guys I enlarged the screen there we go perfect 
Um, so yeah, so this one I decided like, okay, let me go ahead and do, <sighs> this is the one where it's like the stuff that's inside the little diamond shape. Now I remembered last time I did it, I did not start with the diamond first. I don't recommend that. What I recommend because the diamond is what's colored and the inside is not, right? So for this, I believe I started with the little over, ooh, child, look at my nails. Just ignore my nails. They, ooh, they need to be soaked off. So I started with drawing the little dot in the center. And around that, I decided that I was going to draw the four, I don't even know what to call those, the four like oblong shapes. And from there, I was going to like connect each shape to each other to make that backdrop. You'll see what I'm saying. You'll see what I'm saying. So here I'm doing a light touch because I don't want it to be thick because we need to be able to see through it. So I kind of did like a flower petal. Like, you know, when you're a kid, four on each side. And I realized it does not have to be perfect because at the end of the day, that diamond background is going to be going to, to, to each. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. To each like flower petal thing. So that way you can kind of see what's going on. So I drew them pretty small because I was like, dang, um, you know, I just kind of want to see what happens to get the overall shape. Now, I could have used a thinner, smaller brush, but like I always say, I am most comfortable with this size. And I could have used a smaller cleanup brush. I need to get a smaller cleanup brush, to be honest with you, but I really kind of don't have one, you know? So I just used what I got. So bam, you see four petal shapes are drawn. Now from there, I go ahead and make the dot in the center even bigger. Cause that's the part, that's the only part that's colored in. Now here was the thing, making those triangular shapes. See, hook one side to another side to make like a little triangular background. Boom, boom. This is the next step, okay? Now this is probably the hardest shape I'm, and I'm not even gonna lie. Like do not be discouraged if you feel like it's not coming together cause it might look a little ghetto for a minute, okay? So I color in each like triangular shape. Don't be scared if the part, like the petals end up getting colored in. Cause I'm gonna show you exactly what I did to help that out, okay? So, you know, don't forget that it is kind of like a kite shape, okay? Like a diamond kite type of shape. So I like to go ahead and, um, you know, curve it out like that. And of course the side closest to the French, you know, it's kind of cut off. So I kind of left that side alone and focused on the other side. You see? So we're only going to take it so far. And you know, the background is kind of like curved pretty much like a kite. That's the best way I can explain it. We all know pretty much what a kite looks like. Okay. So now that I'm worrying about the backdrop, I was kind of, you know, trying not to beat myself up like, okay, it's fine. You know, like, hey, this is looking like something. But something was kind of missing a little bit. And I think I kind of went ahead and played with it, I want to say. I may have not. You guys, I I'm not really sure. We're going to see. Okay, yeah. So I kind of felt like the lines were not long enough. Looking back at my reference picture. The lines kind of did go a little bit longer. So, you know, I just went ahead, used my cleanup brush. Like I said, probably should use a smaller one. I need to get a smaller one because it can end up erasing stuff you don't want to. I just kind of know how to be careful with it, you know? So it's like, hey, it doesn't have to look the most perfect, but as you are practicing on each and every nail, it's gonna get better and better and you can go back and fix it. And the point of it is when you're looking at the nails as a whole, you know? So this particular shape you guys know what this one is it's like a circle on the outside of the rim and the inside is shaped kind of like a some type of clover shape and then the middle has also a colored in dot now this one was pretty easy i started it on a corner because i felt like this was the way that it was going to be most symmetrical okay so once again when you're practicing a design or you're not familiar with it start in an area that's already cut off so it's pretty easy to get the circular shape because I really just connect already what's there. So, you know, the little, those little flower petals, I'm just going to call them petals. I don't know what else to call them. Eat those little sections, the white sections, they're already circular. So all I have to do is connect them and I've got the circular rim on the outside. Okay. 
do not be intimidated um just break down each shape into what do you feel like it is okay so i'm pretty sure on this side i'm doing like a little fake lv sign it's so cut off over there i'm just kind of doing what will show and that's all you need just like on any louis vuitton design only so much is gonna show okay so just keep that in mind as well only so much is gonna show and that's fine you know so in this video i don't actually show the purple hand just because it's the same thing it's the same pattern same instructions and i figured if i showed this in real time it would give you guys you know a really good look at how i did it so i'm still looking at my reference and i decided okay i'm ready to do a bigger lv you know just take your time and go slow but don't go too slow that you'll run out of time you know like that's not what we want so uh yeah i was ready to draw like a bigger lv because i feel like okay i can get it a lot more evenly so each time you kind of feel good about a shape or a pattern on the next nail or two draw it bigger make it stand out now because the whole idea is we want these symbols to be recognizable when people see them they're automatically going to think bam louis vuitton or bam uh coach or bam gucci or, or whatever it is whatever brand that you're trying to draw you want it to be recognizable so some things you're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone and you're gonna have to make them bigger okay so i would suggest curing between each and every um nail like a couple of seconds just so you don't wipe it off i have a tendency to smudge sometimes okay but i've been working on it like my hand placement because sometimes i just don't pay attention you know so i've decided to so that way i don't waste time i'm just gonna cure after all five nails are done and that worked for me but don't feel like that's what you have to do okay so for this nail i went ahead and made these patterns bigger and this particular angle you guys can see i'm not drawing on this like the side walls that underneath um so it kind of looks funny from this angle but from the top it it all goes together as you guys saw okay so this type of look you guys is really all about placement color choice plays a part too because at the end of the day you don't want to choose no ugly colors all right and you really are going to need a base that's nice and smooth like do you see that you know i went ahead i did my set there's no lumps and bumps in the set and it really helps with the nail art because if you have lumps and bumps in your set what's going to happen is that your nail art is going to be drawing on top of lumps and bumps and it's just not going to be showing up the same you know and that's really not what we want okay so keep in mind i don't think i showed like if i did go back and do any specific cleanup like after all five were done and you know go ahead and look back at the cleanup um i didn't show that so there may be some things you might see here and there that you know i was aware of at the moment but i was more focused on hey let's get the pattern done and we'll worry about the overall cleanup later so that's just another tip on how to save time is you know things are going to need to be cleaned up the most immediate things if it's affecting the overall look of the pattern you know absolutely clean them up as soon as possible but if it's just something that's like hey can wait like on the side of that nail over there um on the middle finger you can see some of the patterns spilled over onto the sidewall that can wait it's not really a pressing issue i can fix that later and you know it'll be fine so just keep that in mind too we want to work smarter not harder okay so um this video is close to being over i don't even think that i show the thumb to be honest with you because you know you guys seen four fingers worth and i really didn't want to smudge anything so i may have let these four dry for a couple of seconds in the um what's that called under the lamp so that way i can do the thumb and not worry about smudging anything but i really do appreciate you guys watching i'm seeing my analytics just improve day by day and it makes me so happy that you guys are watching my content you guys are looking forward to my content if you haven't already please don't forget to comment like and subscribe okay um yeah i just want to take a moment to always acknowledge that i'm 
very 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 excited for some of the things that I have coming up next I was actually very excited to film this video although I was very nervous but um yeah I'm so excited that I'm able to like actually upload during a decent hour because what well, yesterday I uploaded well technically it was today at midnight but y'all I was dedicated and I really 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 wanted this that video to be done so if you haven't already seen my last video please go and watch it really really appreciate it okay so if you guys want more videos that's kind of just not focusing on the set itself but maybe like a more detailed slowed down like nail art tutorial let me know okay so yeah look at i'm looking at the nails as a whole and deciding what else do i need to add I did only keep it to three designs per per like French tip just because her nails are short which is why I did a deeper French so that way it would really um, you know it would really show off the design so just keep that in mind when you are doing designs and sets like this okay And I just felt like this was just so cute. If you're struggling, don't worry, you guys. You can push through, okay? After the first two nails, once it, like, it's like once you get a first couple of patterns on there, it just, it feels like, okay, you know, I've got a handle on it. It becomes more comfortable. It just, you know, just practice. Don't be afraid to try new things. And when people ask me if I can do X, Y, and Z, I always give them the response. I'm more than willing to try. Because at the end of the day, that could be something that you end up being really good at, okay? I used to could not stand doing nail art. I always thought, eh, it's not for me. I can draw with pencil and paper, but this nail art stuff, not for me. Child, look at me. I said that a year ago. Don't ask me to draw nothing, stickers this and stickers that. Now I got a doggone cabinet full of stickers that I freaking don't use, okay? And I like to draw everything. I just feel like it gives it a whole different look. And it just helps to, like, train your eyes to something different and... It's just a whole different ball game that I'm enjoying, okay? And I just appreciate everybody who has continued to watch every video. And I just really, really hope you guys enjoy the final results. I'm going to show you in a second a super close-up on the pink hand. Um, as always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, okay? Follow me on Instagram at Nails by Pretty Face. Here are the final results. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to see y'all tomorrow.